One of the reasons why the district sets minimum flows and levels, or MFLs, is to find that balance between population growth, because we need water to survive. At the same time, we have to protect our natural resources. So the first thing we do is we collect data. My name is Donna Campbell and I'm a staff environmental scientist. With lakes, we're only talking about the levels part of an MFL. Today we're at Lake Allen in northern Hillsborough County. As an environmental scientist, I look at the wetlands surrounding the lake. We're trying to collect data that helps us protect the water levels and the ecology. I look at docks, I look at the water quality, I look at any way that the lake is to be used. And it's a level that we want the lake to be at or above over the long term. We set these levels in order to protect our natural resources and give water to our public. I'm Jason Patterson and I'm a professional geologist. My role in creating the minimum level is to create a water budget model. We get data from the staff gauges at the lakes, we get data from wells, we get data from rainfall and we essentially build a water budget model with that data. A water budget model is essentially all the components going in and out of a lake. You have flows coming in, which would be rainfall and runoff, and then you also have outflows, which could be evaporation. My name is Olivia Schwartz. We have lived at this home on Lake Allen since 1973, which is a long time. We love it. Working with Olivia on this project was very essential. She let us come out to the lake, check the gauge anytime we wanted to. It's imperative we come out to these lakes. It's imperative we come and see what is happening at the lake. We're not trying to take water out of the lakes or add water into the lakes as part of the minimum level process. The goal of the minimum levels is for regulatory purposes. If we get a water use permit that comes in, we want to look at the minimum levels that we have in the area and ensure that that water use permit is not going to negatively impact the water resources. Knowing there are measures to protect this lake certainly makes me very happy and comfortable. That's the kind of relationships we want to build with the people. I think it's important for the public to understand that we're trying to work with them and we're trying to make sure that the lakes and the wetlands and the areas that they love around their homes that we're trying to protect as well. We're really trying to make sure that what we have today remains for future generations. Mm -hmm.